All right, welcome back. Extra innings. Myself, Matt, and Kyle are here, and today we're doing something a little different. We did do basketball, so now we're going to jump to another sport since it kind of kind of goes in hand because the Super Bowl is this weekend, so it makes sense. Yes, go go Eagles, Matt. Go Birds. <laughs> I'm not joining in on that. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, we're going to be drafting a team, but for football. So we're going to be drafting QBs, two wide receivers, a tight end, a running back, and three O-linemen. That should be interesting once we get down to those linemen. But Yeah, I mean, this is going to be a lot of fun. Obviously, maybe if we had all day and we knew you would watch for two hours, we would draft a full uh, NFL <laughs> roster. Oh, but, man. I mean, that would take a while, and we're just going to save ourselves, everybody, some time here. So uh, The draft order, I believe, is – damn it. See, I'm, ne- I'm never going to get this right. <laughs> Even when there's three people, I think it's Matt, me, and Kyle. That is correct, there you Melo. Go. There yeah! we go. There Bobby would be very proud. As the number one pick, it's an uh, interesting spot here. Where there is go? a lot of ways to go with this. Um, I have one guy standing out a lot to me, and I think it makes sense of piecing it together. So maybe I'm not the only one, but I'm thinking an outfielder or a pitcher would be smart for quarterback seeing as I got the good arm. I'm going to go the outfielder route, seeing as he's got the speed, too. Give me Julio Rodriguez, number one overall, oh. as my quarterback. I really like that pick. I I really do. Uh, not to be a homer, but Jalen Hurts-esque, sort of. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Matt, your, Matt, your Eagles references this, po- uh, this episode is really going to screw me up here, man. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I am going to stay in that division, but I'm not going to use him for my QB. I think this is my tight end. Give me Mike Trout. Wow. I I was projecting him to be one of our quarterbacks, to be honest with you. He's a big dude. He's strong. Yeah. I like it. I see it both ways, definitely. And he's an Eagles fan. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, guys. Two for two on Eagles here. references here. Here we go. All right. Um, well, I promise you there will be no Eagles references coming from <laughs> me here. But uh, I'm going to go the bias route. I have oh. to. I'm taking Aaron Judge. Uh, he's going to be my tight end. I mean, that's I, that was in my mind slotted in there. As, it makes sense. You got back-to-back, Kyle. So. Oh, that's right. I'm really excited about this. Um, I'm going to go my quarterback. Might be a little small for this pick, but I feel confident. I'm taking Mookie Betts as my quarterback. Oh my <laughs> I'm just going to do that. I knew you were going to do that. I, I just feel like he fits that very well. Definitely. I mean, he's good at everything he does. Isn't he doing like some bowling tournament? recently where it's like the best of the best or something like that yeah he's in a lot of those i can there's, do it all I'm, that's what i was saying there's not much that he can't do if he could have got a hit against the padres in a big spot <laughs> <laughs> that would have been nice last october that would have been nice i don't know just a couple hits damn i don't know where to go now with this i need some speed i know he may not be the most uh thickest lengthiest guy but he's very tall give me a new cruise as my wide receiver. That is an amazing pick, Melo. That's a good pick. Damn. Really athletic guy. Like you said, speedy as well. Yeah, that's a good pick. I'm going to move on back-to-back picks here for me. So first off, we're going to take a running back. And not definitely not a bruiser, but he's definitely going to be a quick guy. Give me Trey Turner. Ooh. I like it. I think that he can, uh, he can find his way through the gaps pretty quick. And like I said, he's not going to be trucking anybody. Probably not stiff arm, but he's going to be shifty. We already know he's got amazing footwork from his slides and being a pretty good shortstop. So I think I'm going to go Jordan Alvarez as my tight end. Oh, that's a good pick. Very big body. Big guy. (laughs) He's good. He's not afraid to go across the middle with the linebacker linebackers. So I feel like he's not he's not that slow that he couldn't uh, go for a vertical route, too. So. All right. Oh shit! I still don't know where I'm going. <laughs> still, I'm trying to think. You guys are, are you guys? I'm I'm really doing this on the fly here. Um, okay, you know what? I think I'm gonna do something crazy here. In the NFL, 
I, I'm I'm gonna go with the older quarterback here. He just won a Cy Young, and I think he's gonna do good. Give me Justin Verlander as my QB. Oh. Pretty boy, like not a lot, a lot like Tom Brady. Pretty boy. That's All an right. underrated pick. <clears throat> yeah, I think so. He'll make the throws. Definitely. Guys will get open. That's all I need him to do. See, now this is where it gets tricky for me because I, I have somebody in mind that I want, but I feel like he could be here for a little bit. I'm I'm going to go with my for sure pick at wide receiver. I'm going to take Francisco Lindor. Uh, now this is where it gets tricky. Um, They always say if you have your heart set on somebody, take him. So at running back, this is going to be – this. This guy might not even have come up on your guys' boards, but I'm taking Josh Naylor as my running back. That's there you a great go. one. Yeah. I feel like Josh Naylor, right? So he's got that bigger body. He's not, you know, he's not huge by any means, but he's he's very stocky. He plays with a shit ton of heart, and he's going to back you up every time, and he's going to get so so much yardage for me. I'm going Josh Naylor. I like that. I'm gonna take my running back here again. He's not gonna be the quickest guy. He's gonna be a bigger guy. He's gonna get. He's gonna get down there. He's gonna give me some hard yards. He's gonna fight for every yard. Give me Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Oh man, he was one of my old line picks. Damn it. Good. That's pick. my running there back. Go. Good pick, Melo. Good pick. First of all, I'm gonna take a wide receiver. Give me Jazz Chisholm Jr. Mm. as oh. one of my wideouts here. Damn it. Speedy guy. Great pick. Slot guy. In, in my opinion, that's what I'm looking at, probably. And then my second pick, give me the first O-lineman off the board. Give me big Dan Vogelbach. Oh, I love <laughs> <it>. Danny Burgers. <laughs> I Tell love me it. he is not just built to be a tackle or a guard. That's great. Yes. Great pick. I, I think he was um, – maybe you guys have some um, different opinions than me here, but I feel like he was the clear-cut O-lineman. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay, cool. <laughs> okay, I'm going to take it online, too. From my team, the Dodgers, give me the bazooka, Blue Star Gratterall. Wow, that's underrated um, there. Bigger guy. Yeah, fun guy, too. I I feel like he's like a great, great team chemistry guy, and that's important for O-linemen. Yeah, you want to make him happy, give him a mango. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he likes mangoes. Jeez, the O linemen are starting to go. I still need a receiver, but I feel like there's there's some receivers out there. So I'm also gonna take an O lineman, a player who I'm really sh- starting to strongly dislike, uh, Alec Manoa. He's going on my O line. Ooh. And you know what? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Pete Alonzo on the O line too. Wow. I'm going Pete Alonzo. There you go. I got my other wide receiver. Very quick. A little bit smaller. He'll get the ball. Byron Buxton. Love it. Yeah, that's a great pick. That could That's a steal there, honestly. First, I'm going to take a wide receiver. Give me Ronald Acuna Jr. as a wide yeah. out. Speedy yeah. guy. Uh, I feel like he's, he would have good hands. So I'm, I'm feeling pretty good about him. And then another O-lineman. Give me Rowdy Telez down there in the trenches. Good one. Big boy anchoring up. Uh, anchoring up your line. I am looking for a lineman now. This might sound weird to you, but I'm going to do it. Give me Gary Sanchez on my old line. I have some personal feelings about it. That's the <laughs> only reason why I'm not I'm not wowing about it. <laughs> but, <laughs> I, I mean, the stature makes sense. So these are my last two picks. Um, well, I'm, I'm going to get my old lineman out of the way. Give me G-Man Choi. Oh, yeah. that's a good one. <laughs> that's a good one. All right, might not be the flashiest pick. But give me Tyler O'Neill as my second receiver. He's gonna he's gonna be not afraid to lay some dudes over. <laughs> no, he's not. <laughs> you can't put a weak corner on him. Let me tell you that. All right, for my last pick, he's not the biggest guy in the world. He's not the tallest guy either, but he he'll be he's a seasoned vet. He can hold his own. Give me Kyle Schwarber. I like it. I like it. <laughs> yeah. At the buzzer. I've had a lot of time to think about this. My last pick in the draft here. Yeah, my fault. <laughs> okay, underrated, underrated. Sneaky pick here. O-lineman coming in at 6'3", 240. Oh, man. Austin Riley. Yeah. I, I knew pick. I knew it was going somewhere. Yeah, he's he would make a great O-lineman, I feel like. so. He would be. Oh, yeah. 
him and Schwarber were on my list until I just randomly thought of G-Man Choi and I wanted him on my damn team. <laughs> so That's a good pick, yeah. though. So <laughs> Okay, now we can do a re- quick rundown of our teams. Very good, all of us. Very good teams all around. Oh, yeah, and there's so much differences, too. It's it's funny to see how some of these players would translate to, to the NFL. Yeah, yeah, it would be fun to see. You guys uh, let us know in the comments who won the draft. Uh, you guys always do. There always seems to be a lot of discrepancy. Oh, yeah, um, there's but... going to be some. <laughs> <laughs> we, forgot, we forgot somebody. Definitely. Somebody 100%. was snubbed. Somebody was robbed. Yeah, uh, no disrespect, Kyle, to Mookie Betts, because he's my guy too. But you know, if I was coming, if I was like a pass rusher, all I had to do was go like this, <laughs> and just I bat the ball down. That's all right. That's all right. He's not the tallest guy in the world. No, and it, uh, a lot of my thought process went into that. It it really did. But I feel it's a like great just, pick, though. I'm not saying it's wrong. His his freak athleticism, I feel like, will just work in his favor. Uh, I I imagine him a very mobile quarterback. Someone who can pass out of the pocket as well. Um, I don't know. Yeah. Thank you. I think we all feel pretty good about our, our teams. Um, and obviously, I'll, the only great decider is what you guys think about our teams. That's all that matters, evidently. Because um, oh we always got we always got to figure out who the winner and the loser is mm-hmm. uh, of the draft. So make sure to let us know in the comments. And yeah, we'll see you guys uh, next time. Thanks. Later.